wise man once said, I have discovered in life, there are ways of getting almost anywhere you want to go, if you really want to go. And that man was Langston Hughes, author, poet, famous for inspiring so many of us. And can you believe that his ashes is buried right here at the famous, notorious, we all know, history of Schomburg Center of Research of Black Culture. Welcome back, Black Geo. We are still live from Harlem. I told you we have so much to show you. We have not done with this city. This city has inspired so many of us. And that's why I'm here today, show you so much of this history. Look at this right here. So much black history. James Baldwin once wrote, he read every book in his library before it was named the Schomburg. Founded in 1925, the first name of Schomburg actually was Division of Negro History, Literature and Prints. This is the hub of black culture, especially to the great migration to Harlem from the rural areas of the, of the South and from beyond. Now we'll be taking a trip right into Schomburg because later on today, we are going to the Africa Burial Ground Monument downtown in New York City. Famous monument that was forgotten of this city. Enslaved Africans, the first enslaved Africans pretty much of this colony that built this city. But but first, before you go down to the burial, you must stop right here at the Schomburg Research of Black History, of Black Culture. So we are going to take a trip right here on the Black Geo. Arturo Alfonso A. Schomburg was born in 1874, son of a Puerto Rican merchant of German descent and an Afro-Caribbean woman from the Danish West Indies. He spent majority of his upbringing in Puerto Rico, but after studying in both Puerto Rico and the Danish Islands, which is now the U.S. Virgin Islands, he immigrated to New York City at the age of 17. Schomburg's passion for the history came from his experience with racism and discrimination in both the Caribbean and Americas. He once noted as a child in school, he was told by a teacher, as I quote, that black culture lacked any prominent individuals and no important history. He then dedicated his life to dispute this claim while collecting physical proof of black intellect, accomplishments, and historic importance. By the 1920s, he was a member of the Negro Society for Historical Research and the American Negro Academy. He amassed an archive of 10,000 items, including original newspapers published by Frederick Douglass, poems by Phyllis Wheatley, and books and journals by the famous Paul Cuff, and many more prominent figures leading a monumental generation.
bestseller collection of books, pamphlets, and manuscripts. Also, artifacts should be in gratitude to the Afro-Puerto Rican scholar and collector Arturo Alfonso E. Schoenberg, a self-taught scholar, independent historian, and a lover for creating and collecting knowledge. Right here, we are standing at the burial site of the late great Langston Hughes and Arturo A. Schomburg. They are buried underneath this great site. History of Schomburg Center for Research and Black Culture. Make sure you come to Harlem, you stop by and get real African history. Like us. Now we are headed to the Africa Burial Ground National Monument. This place was forgotten. But in 1991, this place was found. 15,000 enslaved Africans, mostly children, was erected. And we are going to take a trip down there. But first, before you ever take a trip anywhere in Harlem, please come to the Schomburg Research of Black Culture. This place has so much things to tell you. This is the hub for the great migration to Harlem from the rural south and from beyond. Like, share, and subscribe to the Black GR. I told you, this is the type of content you really want to know about. It's for the kids, it's for the family. We can have fun, but we got to learn something here. Just to give you a little history on this place. I mean, construction began in 1991. What was uncovered? A burial ground, 30 feet below. Can you believe that? Containing 15,000 intact skeletal remains of African enslaved Africans and African Americans who worked and lived in the colony that was called New Amsterdam. That was the previous name, people. New Amsterdam. You know that? It's just amazing so much history they don't tell us. You know, this burial ground dates back from 1630s to 1795. You know, free and enslaved Africans were not permitted to be buried in churchyards. This was actually the final resting place for the enslaved Africans. This was actually the second biggest colony outside of Charleston, New York City, Chase Banks, Wells and Fargo. What do you think their first business was? We're about to go show you this on the Black Geo. Always remember to like and subscribe to our channel. We got so much stuff coming up. Like I said, you didn't know we was gonna end up here. We are in New York City, live from the town. And we're going to show love to this city, but we're going to show love to the history that is forgotten in this city. So like and subscribe. It's a good day. The weather's nice outside. And we about to get some exercise. Physically, mentally, spiritually. And if you see paper in my hand, I don't care. My brother like to take notes, okay? I like to take notes. You know, I like to learn things too, and I don't like to go into things like I know everything. So I take notes, and not only for a video, for myself, so I can remember this thing. Because, like the Schomburg Center, you know how many people walk past that center? And they don't know that Langston Hughes and Alfonso Arturo, or should I say Arturo Alfonso A. Schomburg, their resting place is Schomburg Center of Black History, of Black Culture. You must visit Schomburg Center before you visit the African Burial Monument. We are almost a few meters away. This monument was about to be overtaken by a building. Can you, can you believe this? A building, 34 story, $276 million building 
that was gonna be buried over this sacred land. We've came up to the famous African burial ground, National Mute Monument. This is the African Burial Ground Monument. We're gonna take a trip inside, Black Geo. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Can you imagine? This place was under 34 stories of level. These are the ancestors of the first colony, New Amsterdam. And I had somebody tell me, do I represent the FBA? Before, we represent the ancestors who first touched the soil. Africans. These were Africans who came from West Africa, Central Africa. And these are the people who dedicated their life and their time to make sure this place exists. Because without their hard work, they would have built a 34 story building worth $276 million. So we give praise to the people who fought so hard to keep this place intact. This is how the Black Geo is going to give you so much view, so much to talk about, so much to learn about. You didn't know we was going to end up here. We are here at the African Burial Ground Monument. Please like and subscribe.